Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and into another grocery video. Now I did have to go in store today because I ran out of time and didn't have enough time to put a grocery order in for today. So here we are. Um, I had to go in there. I did spend $223 worth of uh, things at the grocery store. However, I spent $50 of that on school supplies, which I'm not going to show you. And then I also spent another $30 on cat food and dog food, which I'm not going to haul all the way in here because we keep the containers for that down there in the garage. So I'm not going to bring it in here just to take it back out there, girl, because you know, I'm a multitasker. I ain't got time for that. Plus it's heavy. So I'm going to turn you guys around and we're going to go ahead and get started. So basically, I probably only spent about $150 on these groceries. Um, so there's that on that. Oh, also probably $140 because I did buy a flat of canning jars. Um, and that was, you know, $10, $11, $12, something like that. So really, I only spent $140, I would say. But even still, it's not that much. So we're going to get into it and I'm going to show you what I got here. Um, and we're going to go forward, right? Am I right? Okay, here we are. Down here, I had to stop at the local grocery store, and I picked up this. I was looking for pickling salt. It's sold out every single where. I have all kinds of things in my refrigerator that needs to be processed, so I'm praying that I have enough left of what I have on hand that I can get through all that, because if not, um, I'm going to have to come up with something else. You know what I'm saying? So, um, anyway... Uh, they didn't have it so but I did pick up this little case of 12 pack of strawberry soda it was $3.98 um, and then we are on the menu for this week is french dip sandwiches tonight corn dogs and then one night we're gonna have breakfast and then we will have a chicken bacon ranch casserole so I didn't actually need a ton of groceries plus um, if you guys watched last week's video, you guys know that I am trying to use up the things that I have on hand because we're getting ready to go do a Sam's Club haul um, before school starts, which hopefully I'll get that done this coming up weekend. Um, we're praying. We have like a work picnic and stuff that we have to do, so I may not get down there because my closest Sam's Club is about 45 minutes away from me. So it takes quite a bit of time to go down there to do the shopping and then to come home. It's probably like at least a half a day if not like a six hour project to do um so there's that i should probably get online can i do a pickup at the sam's club that's my question because if i could do that that would make my whole life easier it's just really driving down there um but my husband likes to go into the store and check out all the things anyway i'm getting off track the point is is that i'm only purchasing last week and this week i'm only getting things that i need to have um for the week coming up plus like you know snacks and some things like that so we are um because i know that's coming um so the least amount of money that i spend on this week's grocery budget and last week's grocery budget that will go towards next week's grocery budget plus um the additional from the last two weeks um pretty much we budget about 200 dollars a week um with the price of groceries uh right now i only like to spend about 150 but usually i spend way more than that this week on actual groceries though i did only spend about 140 the rest of the stuff that we purchase comes out of like i've been I bought school supplies and dog food and cat food and those have their own budgets in my house. If you guys haven't watched one of my budgeting videos to see how I budget and you're interested in the way that I break things down, go ahead and go over. There's a whole playlist of budget videos on my channel. You just have to go and watch them to see if, if you're interested in seeing how I budget money out. Okay, so anyway... I picked up this uh, rotisserie chicken. This is one of the cold ones because we won't be having the chicken casserole until like Thursday or something. We'll see. I may cook it sooner. Um, and that was five bucks. And then I picked up this thing. We haven't had um, Hot Pockets in a hot minute. So I went ahead and picked that up because that's... Hey, Jack, will you shut that door, please? Um haven't had Hot Pockets in a while. Um, it kills me to have to buy Hot Pockets because these 12 Hot Pockets cost $13, $14. So um, there's that on that. Picked up bacon for the breakfast. We're going to have for dinner one night uh, string cheese. 
just for the kids to snack on. I got the cilantro. I'm currently in the process of making um, salsa out of the garden. So that's one of the things today that I, it's on my list. I started chopping and processing everything um, la uh, yesterday. So I needed a couple ingredients for some things. So I went ahead and picked that up so I could finish that out. I tend to like to process all the, like chopping, doing all the, like I'm making bread and butter pickles, tomato sauce and salsa and I already processed out some green beans but I like to get all the processing done and then I like to can everything all at one time. So I was going to make jelly today um, however I am not going to get to that. I'll probably have to do that next weekend uh, because there's a couple other things that I want to make today. I want to get a, a peach cobbler going and also I want to make mini muffins for Liam coming up this week as well as um, homemade Cheez-Its. If you guys are interested in that stuff let me know. I am um, I did make that lasagna for you guys and that video will be coming out shortly. Um, I just have to edit it and get it all up and going. So in the next week or two, that video should be coming out. I got some provolone for the French dip sandwiches, and I also got two packages of roast beef for the French dip sandwiches, which we're having tonight. So I will go ahead and get this going in the crock pot to make the au jus sauce and all that jazz. Um, we have two blocks of cheddar uh, because I'm gonna make Cheez-Its and also because we're gonna have that casserole, that chicken bacon ranch casserole. We like to put cheese on ours. Um, and I don't buy, FYI, unless I absolutely have to, I do not buy the shredded cheese that's already in the package because that stuff gets preservatives put on it. And if you guys watched last week's video, you guys know that I'm trying to cut out as many of the preservatives as I can, um, which is the reason why I'm going to try to make my own, um, my own Cheez-Its is because on the box of any like Cheez-Its, rich, rich Crackers, Goldfish, I'm going to try to make those also um, from scratch. They have what they call on the box, on the ingredients, where it's listed bioengineered food product. Um, I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure we shouldn't be eating it. So I try to look it up in the FDA to see what that consisted of and all they can tell you on the FDA is that it's a genetically engineered food product. So literally that could be anything. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna try to start making everything homemade so I don't have to purchase it. Um, anyway, so regular cheese blocks, they just have pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, salt, enzymes, and um, a little bit of natural coloring in it. So, and really, I mean, cheese is cheese. If I could figure out, if I had a cow, I'd make my own cheese. Anyway, moving along. The point is, is that the sh stuff that comes in the shredded bags has like this wax stuff that is on top of the shredded cheese to make it look, that's what that white stuff is, like on the outside of your cheese to make it stay shredded like that. Because if you shred this and you put this in the refrigerator, in the freezer, it's going to like mound up into a ball. They like for people to be able to want the shredded cheese shredded and stay shredded like that because they put so much chemicals in there to make that do that. Anyway, the chemicals is um, working my nerves these days and all these products. And so I am going to just try to cut as many, as much of the things out that I can, even if that means I'm spending more time in the kitchen trying to make stuff like on a weekly basis. Okay, so we got toothpaste for the kids. I got a Hawaiian punch for the kids. I needed unsalted butter so that I can make some stuff. And then I got this crappy ass butter for the things we need the crappy ass butter for. Um, this is another one of those things that I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to, I'm not saying that we're gonna cut all um, processed foods out, but if I can do it, I'm going to. Um, so, uh, this kind of stuff right here, this quick and easy stuff, I don't know how I'm going to be able to make that. Um, so for the meantime, we're going to work on all the little snacks that we eat and then I'll come back to this kind of stuff whenever I can figure out how to make that. It's a process to be able to make everything at home. Corn dogs, I can make at home. However, I don't have time to do that this week and this is something that the kids want to have this week. So here we go. Um, but eventually I'll get to this kind of stuff also. Um, I needed some laundry detergent, so my preferred laundry detergent is Gain. 
um, the original scent. Let me know down below if you're original scent kind of gal or not. We got some Velveeta, again, something that I'm gonna have to figure out how to make from scratch. I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna work on it as we move forward through the winter months when I don't have as much to do. Uh, we have energy drinks for my husband because he's not ever gonna stop eating that. Bacon bits for the chicken bacon ranch. We got two ranch packets. The recipe that I have, um, I've never made this uh, recipe before for this uh, chicken bacon ranch casserole. Let me know if you guys want me to do a vid on that. Um, and they suggest putting actual ranch dressing on it. And I cannot. Uh, that just seems weird to me, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to put maybe some powder ranch on there, girl. And then I got some yeast because I want to make try to make some breads and whatnot uh, two things of SpaghettiOs quick and easy for the kids is lunch coming up this week um, because this is the last week that we have before school starts and we'll be busy getting all the things ready for school uh, baking cocoa powder I'm gonna make my own Hershey syrup um, so the kids can have chocolate milk we got powdered sugar we have um, hoagies for the french dip sandwiches this week um, I currently haven't been able to make uh, tomato paste and I need tomato paste for my tomato uh, spaghetti sauce so I'm going to use these um, no preservatives in this like literally just citric acid and tomato paste um, so I will jar up my spaghetti sauce and then I will leave some and cook it down further to make the tomato paste because that's all tomato paste is is really cooked down tomatoes so I will try to get some uh, tomato paste uh, canned up for my uh, leftover tomato sauce baking soda we have mustard seed making bread and butter pickles mustard seed cloves um, this is mixed pickling spice. I'm making some relish as well. We have some ground cumin and some celery seed as well as ground turmeric. Um, we got some rotini noodles uh, for the chicken bacon ranch casserole. We got baking powder and then we have um, peat. Uh, petite diced tomatoes um, because they didn't have the fire roasted rotel and the recipe calls for rotel if you guys are new here I have an allergy to onions um, so I don't put onions in anything and the fire roasted rotel is the only rotel that doesn't have onions in it so I have green chilies sitting out there in my pantry so I'll just mix the green chilies and this together and hopefully it's as good as the rotel I don't know we'll see we got uh, two things of bread. We also have my husband's crackers. We also have some Sure Gel. I don't think I'll get to the jelly uh, this week, but I'm gonna definitely try for next week um, because I got people asking me for it. Uh, but we'll see. So I went ahead and picked that up because I was over there in the canning aisle anyway. We got honey buns, which I can totally make these um, from scratch and I will get to working on that as I move forward. I got things on my plate first that I wanna try making from scratch, like Pop-Tarts, Goldfish Crackers, Cheez-Its, and um, something else I wanna, oh, my homemade uh, chocolate Hershey syrup for chocolate milk. Um, those are the things that I'm gonna be doing this weekend or today, as, as well as processing out all the stuff that I have and canning what I have to can. Um, Dorito chips to go with those hoagies tonight or the French chip sandwiches. We got 2% milk. We got a thing of cereal, which cereal is something that we're always gonna have processed because how do you make cereal? Nobody knows. I can, I can make granola cereal, but I can't make that. Um, and my, my kids are not gonna live their whole lives without cereal, so. Um, we will cut out the processed stuff as we can by making it homemade and the other stuff, well, um, we will be eating it processed. Um, I can make homemade Pop-Tarts though, so I'll try to do that next weekend as well. Um, and this is white vinegar, in case I didn't show you that. Anyway, that is it. Like I said, I did buy a bag of cat food, a bag of dog food, and fi about $50 worth of school supplies as well as, nope, that was it. So anyway, that is going to wrap this video up. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you're interested in seeing how I make things from scratch, once I figure those recipes out, I'm more than happy to share them with you if that's something that you want to see and learn. Um, 
and same with the canning. Uh, a couple people did mention that we could do a canning video and lasagna. The last time I asked if you guys wanted to see those types of videos, I'm more than happy to share those. As a matter of fact, everything that I'm processing out today, I am recording so that I can share that stuff with you guys as far as canning goes. Um, so be looking, those will take a long, a, a while to edit. So I just have to have the time to be able to do so, but I will share them as I get them um, done. And that's it. If you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if you want to. Um, how are you guys feeling about the processed food? Have you guys ever looked into seeing what is in processed food? That's my question because I went down a rabbit hole girl and now I can't get back out of it. Like I cannot, it pains me to not be able to go and get a wheat thin from the store and dip it in cream cheese and eat it. Um, and all crackers, uh, for the most part, have that bioengineered food product in it, and I just cannot, I cannot handle it. Anyway, um, we will see you guys next week for another video, but next week's video will probably be the Sam's ha Club haul. Um, so there's that on that. Anyway, guys, we will see you guys next time. Bye!